Last spring, we challenged three well-known Irish writers to live in three different towns for one month and to write an original television play based on their experiences. My stomach is in knots. We provided each of them with a building in which their plays will be filmed. For God's sake, lads. During this series, you'll discover what our writers made of the places we sent them. <laughs> That's just one of the maddest things I've ever seen anywhere in Ireland. And watch the original dramas they created there. Welcome to Play Next Door. Fiona's play must be set at night and all the action must happen in real time. When I write a play, there comes a point where I go from being a creator to being an observer. I've created this world and in a way it's almost as if I'm now able to take a little step back from it and say, okay, you know, I've given you people life, I've given you a pub, now show me what's going to happen. Rob, there is a point that I want to make with this play. And as things stand, I have not made the point. You know, it's not just a bunch of people in a pub saying stuff. It's the balance between telling a tough story and injecting humour and heart into it in the right level. Getting that right, that is going to be the biggest challenge. You won the Premier Challenge Cup on this table. I beat your Andrew in the final. That's right. The place was heaving, I remember. Right here. Could probably do with a rub of a damn cloth, that. The whole place could. No, don't clean it. Don't rub them away. Aidan was probably the last person to play on that, Rosa. Yeah. Well, there haven't been many since, that's for sure. I'll tell you what, Rosa. I'll give you a game now. <sighs> what? I remember her playing. You were good, Rosa. Hmm? Even as good as Aidan, maybe. <laughs> he didn't lick it off the stones. You couldn't beat me back then, Jaxie Ryan. Of course I couldn't. I was too busy looking at your arse. And you think I can't beat you now? There's a pair of pheasants says you can't. 